ஹே ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் தே ஹவ் எஸ் ஹாவி மாமி அண்ட் வெல்கம் எஃப் ஏ நியூ இயர் ஐ எம் ஷித்தேஜ் அண்ட் ஐ லவ் மேக்கிங் தி ஐ வைஸ் ஆர் தம் தி கார்டன் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் இன் டு டேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் ஷேரிங் த்ரீ சூப்பர் ஃபன் அண்ட் ஈஸி விண்டர் இன்ஸ்பயர்ட் தி ஐ வை டெக்கார் யூ கேன் மேக் தேம் டு பர்க் அப் யோர் ஸ்பேஸ் டியூரிங் திஸ் சீசன் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ யூ கேன் கீப் தேம் அண்டில் த விண்டர் சீசன் இஸ் ஓவர் So let's begin with the first DIY. For the first DIY, I'm creating a very easy and a super super fun uh, snowball wreath. This is the easiest wreath that you can make and literally anyone can make this DIY. To start with, I took a rotten uh, wreath form and I also took some fluffy white yarn and I wrapped the yarn all around the wreath form to cover it completely. and uh, the more fluffier the yarn you take it becomes easier to wrap around the wreath form because it gives a more full look and we want to achieve a full look because we want the uh, snow uh, the snowballs to look a little bit more fluffy after the wreath form was completely covered with the yarn i just cut out the extra yarn and glued it to secure everything together and then i took some cotton balls and i stretched them each one of them and fluffed them and then glued it on top of the wreath form like so here you can see that i am fluffing up the cotton balls a little bit so that they look like fluffy snowballs and one by one i am gluing them on top of the wreath form and this will uh, make an entire wreath circular wreath of the snowballs here you can see how they are going to look after they are glued together with the help of hot glue once i fluffed up the cotton balls a tad bit i added some uh, small snowflakes and these are going to add a shiny and sparkly touch to my sno uh, snowballs and you can also add some glitter for some sparkly effect if you want and uh, all these things are going to add a little bit more interest and texture to the uh, snowball wreath that i'm making next i took this white snowflake ribbon and i made a bow out of it and for that um i took the size i wanted i just decided what size i wanted for the bow how big the size should be according to the wreath that i have and then i just folded the ribbon um to size and i'm going to fold it two to three times however how many folds i want in my uh bow depends on how many folds i make and uh, to make it more fluffier i'm going to add more folds and if you want just uh, two or three you can just fold it two or three times i cut some more uh, ribbon to make the tail part of the bow and then i scrunched the ribbon like so and tied it together with the help of a uh, floral wire you can also use zip ties if you don't have floral wire and i think it works really great also just that we need to hide the, the zip ties a little bit more compared to the floral wire and for that i'm going to cut another portion and i'm just going to tie a small knot out of it and i'm going to glue this knot on the bow that i'm going to make here i just crunched the bow tied a floral uh, wire here and this center portion i'm going to um, tie a knot and just glue it at the back
lastly to fluff up the ribbon i just took out the inside portion of the folded ribbon and i'm going to take it out on the opposite sides like so and then i'm going to fluff everything up and because it is a wide ribbon it fluffs up uh, really nicely so here you can see i'm just fluffing it up and uh, the actual shape of the bow is coming out really nice so if, if you want see here i have just made uh, two of the loops of the bow so if you want more loops you just need to fold the bow into many more um, folds and this is how we can achieve the desired look i also dovetail the ends of the uh, bow and this is my bow almost complete now i'm going to glue it on top of uh, my wreath Next I cut out two hand gloves out of felt fabric in the color red and green. You can uh, make them in any color even white and um, I like a little pop of color with my white uh, snowball wreath. So I'm just using the festive colors of red and uh, green. You can use any color of your choice. So I'm just uh, tying two strings on each of the glove and I'm going to just hang these two strings uh, on my wreath and uh, these two gloves are going to hang just like that um, and they would be depicting the winter season really nicely. final step is to glue the uh, bow that I made on top of the wreath and this is how my snowball wreath turned out and um, it's looking really great with the hanging gloves my snowball wreath is totally ready to adorn the front door and I think it's looking great uh, all the winter long over there and it was so easy to make and that I think that's the best portion of it that uh, anyone literally can make it and uh, you can see how it turned out looks super cute super pretty and um, it would look great in any kind of home decor Today I am participating in the Heidi Sonbull DIY challenge hosted by Heidi Sonbull of Heidi Sonbull DIY. She is absolutely amazing as a crafter and I have linked her channel in the description box below along with the playlist. Don't forget to check out for some amazing winter inspired DIY ideas. Moving on to my second DIY, uh, winter season cannot be complete without the snowman so I am going to make a snowman carrying a bucket of handmade snowballs and for that I took a, a large ornament and also a styrofoam ball and I'm going to glue these two together to make the body of the snowman next I cut a small sock and with that I'm going to make the uh, cap and the muffler of the snowman and to make the cap I cut the um, sock from the middle and I'm going to use the top portion of the uh, sock and I'm going to just glue it on top of the head and this will look like a cap and I also made a, a pom pom ball so I'm going to glue that pom pom ball white pom pom on top of the cap and this is going to look like a fluffy cap that the snowman is wearing I cut another thin strip of the sock and uh, put it uh, run it through the bottom of the ornament and uh, made it way up to the neck and glued it at the neck and this is going to be the muffler 
then another strip and I just glued it uh, on the neck again and this is going to hang down looking like the muffler again which is hanging down so you can see the look of the muffler is also complete and it is looking very cute I added small pearls uh, in place of buttons and uh, since the body of the snowman is really shiny so the pearls look really nice and they look like the buttons on the coat and then I added small eyes with the help of a sketch pen for the nose I got the orange paper that is orange foam sheet and triangular shape and I just glued everything together just rolled it into a cone shape and glued it on top of the face of the snowman and this is how the snowman turned out now to make the bucket I took a galvanized tin and silver color and uh, with the help of white glue I just wrote the words let it snow and I'm going to sprinkle some red glitter on top of this until that I'm just going to leave it for a while so that it becomes a little tacky and the glitter glues on really well and I also added some small snowflakes here and there randomly on the galvanized tin and then I made some hand rolled snowballs with the help of cotton and I put them inside the bucket and here you can see I am using red glitter on the let it snow and it really pops up after I sprinkle the glitter I gave a nice tap to the bucket to drop off the excess glitter and then I also sprinkled some uh, snowflake glitter on top of the snowballs that I made for an added touch of uh, shimmer and glow so that the uh, snowballs are glowing and this is how my snowman with the snow balls bucket looks really cute really adorable for the third DIY I took a MDF coaster and I uh, colored it with white acrylic paint I did one coat of white acrylic paint and then let it dry and then I spray painted with chrome metallic paint Once the one coat of chrome metallic paint was dry, then I took uh, this paint marker and I wrote the coat on top and this paint marker is in the color gold and I just highlighted it with a bit of um, red color and it says that cho hot chocolate is like a, a hug and uh, from the inside I really like this coat and uh, then I took the small cup that I had I filled it up with some brown paper and I also cut a circular shape and I'm going to fill it up so that it looks that the cup is holding some hot chocolate and I glued a small snowflake on top of the cup and I glued this cup onto this uh, MDF coaster here like so also added some snowflake glitter on top of the cup so that it resembles some foam and froth of the hot chocolate and it gives a little shiny touch to my this little uh, MDF coaster that I made it looks so so cute and so adorable and I really like this coat so here you can see all the three DIYs for winter season is done and this is how my hot chocolate cup looks super cute super adorable do let me know which out of the three DIYs was your favorite and which one you are going to try this winter season. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching today. Bye bye, take care and happy holidays.